Hello, y'all. It is Illy, and it's that time of year where we look back on our reading and talk about what we read this year. I just wanted to start with the worst books I read this year. Now, disclaimer, this isn't just my, like, lowest rated books. It's, like, there might be seven here that gave, like, 2.53, which is kind of, like, an average, of, like, a normal, fine, okay sort of rating, but they were just very disappointing to me. So not just, like, terrible, awful, bad books. It's also just books that I was super disappointed that I was just expecting a lot more from. I have a few here. Just pulled some that I remembered, looked at my Goodreads, have my Goodreads open just in case I'm dumb and can't remember anything. So, uh... Let's just get started. I'm gonna try to go in like chronological order of when I read these, so I might not remember lots of my thoughts on some of the older ones. And also my ratings on Goodreads change a lot of the time, post my initial rating, but I never go back and change them because I'm lazy. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna start with a boring one. The first one I have is Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence is a author that I've always been super intrigued to read about. People just love him because you Based, he was one of the first authors back in the Dizzy to just write about sex and just going for it, you know? This was very disappointing to me. I think I gave it like a two star. I don't really remember. I just didn't like it. It was very, very boring. A lot of the story was just kind of like felt dumb and unnecessary. The pacing seemed very off to me. I honestly can't remember what the plot was about. I feel like it didn't really follow anything. The characters are all so annoying too. And like, I cannot remember what his, like, most popular shit is, but, like, I've read so many quotes from him that are beautiful, and I'm like, I want to read that. I want to experience this great writing. But there was just a lot with this story for it in particular that I just didn't, like, didn't drive with me. Next, we're going with a popular one that came out this year. Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. Ooh, this shit was hyped so much on BookTube, on the internet, everywhere. Everybody was raving about this book before it came out. People were just talking about it, hauling it. And of course, I bought into it. Basically, it's supposed to be about a friendship relationship that starts through texting. And that seems super interesting to me. But no, that was not this book. Like, I kind of want to go back and just give it a two star. I think I give it like a 2.5. Generous 2.5. It's like a two star now. I was so disappointed. Okay, first off, for a relationship that's supposed to be based off of texting, there is very few text within this book. And the texts don't really tell you anything about the characters. The characters were all fucking stupid, annoying, generic. Like, the main character was such a fucking bitch. I hated her. The dude, he was alright, but he was kind of just, like, generic there. I mean, I l was super excited for the representation, the Asian rep, but, like, uh, like the was a bitch and, like, all the characters were dumb. Um, also, they're supposed to have, like, this awkward meet-cute thing that goes on when they exchange numbers. First off, that is not when they first meet. When they first meet, they do not even exchange numbers. That awkward meet-cute is the boy having a fucking anxiety attack, panic attack, and then she asks for his number, and it's just, like, mm, there was nothing likable about this book. The writing was all right, from what I can remember. Like, there was a few things that I kind of, like, lines that I liked, but, like, so disappointed. It was so hyped up. And it did not deliver. And what upsets me the most about that is because this cover is beautiful. So good. But terrible inside. Alright, my next one is a book that I'm pretty sure no one's ever heard about. This book is called Compulsion by Heidi Ayarbe. Ayarbe. I want to keep saying it in like an accent, but I'm not sure. It's like from what I've gathered, she looks like just a white lady. I'm not sure. This book, my ex got it for me at the beginning of the year for my birthday because it's one of her favorite books. And I hated it this is probably like the worst book i read this year so bad because it was so i just was annoyed it was low-key offensive okay this is supposed to be about a teen boy who has ocd and him dealing with it and all this shit <sighs> none of the characters had any depth whatsoever the main character all we know about him is he has ocd and he plays soccer that's it nothing else the rest of the characters are so fucking annoying too like the main people in this book that you kind of hear anything else about is the soccer team and that shit was so racist because it was just went to mexicans playing soccer one right there stereotype racist i don't know who if this author is any mexican i tried to look her up a little bit after this but i've sort of just lost interest she might be mexican and if she did like why would she do that with her mexican character that pissed me off they would throw like a random spanish word at the end of a sentence every now and then just to be like haha i am mexican and shit it was so fucking annoying and i was like okay um 
just what also this whole book was just felt so teen boy ish it was so annoying and like get it if the author was just trying to make like an honest portrayal of a teen boy but that shit fucking annoyed me the low-key like homophobic slurs they threw out and shit like that if i had to hear them call a female character in this book a chick one more time i was gonna fucking lose it holy shit was that annoying the only thing that would set this book apart from any other ya book out there was that ocd rep but it did not feel very honest to me i've tried again i tried to look up the author if this how own voices this is and i haven't gotten shit because no one even knows this book but like it didn't like i get it it was trying to make an honest portrayal of how it is very all-consuming and overwhelming but it just felt very gimmicky and like a plot device to move the plot along so you don't have to think of an actual story because everything else it was trying to do just didn't have any depth or anything going on it was just like he has ocd oh my god look at this terrible life and all these things and blah 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 and like it was just like that's it and i was like okay like i get it. he has ocd but like what else is going on how is this like the rest of his life can we please hear more what is how is this affecting him more instead of him just having to turn the clock back and do this shit like you didn't get anything it just was kind of there and i hated it the next book i'm going to talk about isn't a real book kind of it's start of the century by stephen king oh this is a screenplay um i'm kind of only putting this in here because i read a lot of stephen king this year and this was just his most disappointing to me um i really didn't know much about it i've never watched is it a mini series i believe it's a mini series i never watched it. i didn't really know anything about it but i just was super intrigued because it's the actual like script from the show or movie i'm not sure still but I was just a little disappointed. I thought it wasn't that great. All of the weird, fantastical and stuff they was trying to throw in there, it just didn't really work so well. Um, I don't really have much else to say. I just didn't. Wasn't that big of a fan. One of my least favorite Stephen Kings I've read so far. So I was just, I wanted more for my first screenplay, you know? My next book is Holy Cow by David DeChobney. I originally picked this up because it's about a a cow who's at like a farm or whatever and she learns about the fact that cows get made into food and other animals get made into food and it sickens her and she just wants to leave she wants to go to india where cows are sacred and i thought the premise seemed so cool like a freaking another like animal farm type esque thing that sounded super interesting to me but low-key this was super annoying to read now the execution of this was just horrible i think it tried way too hard to be topical clever witty um it threw in a bunch of like pop culture references that just didn't add anything to it. It broke the fourth wall a lot, and I don't think that really helped it much. The main character is a cow, so I know I can't like shouldn't be too mean about it because it's a fucking cow. But like, the author made her sound like a preteen girl from 2012, and it was the most annoying thing to have to read about. It was so fucking annoying. I also feel like it was low-key offensive. Like, it talks about a couple of things, because, you know, they're going to India because cows are sacred there, but there's other little things sprinkled in about different religions and cultures and things, and I don't know what the author's ethnicity, their uh, religion, anything like that. I don't know what the, any of that is, but I felt like some of it was just kind of a little offensive, a little stereotypical, and I was like, ooh, can he say that should he be saying this i don't know the cover again is really beautiful though i like how simple it kind of is i just thought this had so much potential to be really really good and like a favorite book of mine but just didn't do it the next book i'm talking about oh i get crucified for this one because it's a booktube fave station 11 now here's the thing i obviously have tabs in it because there are lines that i really liked and i didn't hate this book i honestly don't remember what i gave it like it's like this is one of those ones where it's like a 2.5 or a 3 or something like that maybe I just was super disappointed. I don't know. I was expecting to really, really love it. I'm not the biggest fan of post-apocalyptic stories and such. Like, that's not usually my fave. Um, I don't know. I didn't really like... I didn't like the care. I didn't like the story. The... Before it gets to the apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic setting, I kind of enjoyed that. But I really don't have much to say because it's not like this was a terrible book. It just really wasn't for me. It just didn't jive well with me i didn't really care much about anybody if that makes sense i don't know just like the stakes weren't high enough for me okay this is another one of my lowerest rated books it's slate house by david mitchell i think i gave it like a 1 1.5 it was just so bad 
I didn't have like the height like Raiden, but I kn heard a lot about David Mitchell. He's obviously a very popular author. I was super intrigued by a lot of his books. And this one seemed like it was going to be really cool. There were parts of it that I like the plot and things that I enjoyed and I wish could have been executed a lot better. But this book was kind of like the writing was so terrible. This was basically a prime example of telling and not showing. It just really was not good. Characters were so fucking annoying and obnoxious. I hated reading about anything. Basically the whole book very much read, very juvenile. Like the story itself just was like something a kid would make up for a creative writing class in like the second grade trying to be like, ooh, it's kind of spooky and weird. What's going on? And just the writing being so bad and it was just basically telling you shit and not really showing you made it very much less immersive, less, just, it was bad. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know if I'm ever gonna pick up another David Mitchell because I hated the writing. His writing style was so bad. Next, we're going with the classic, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I feel like everybody's read this book. This is a book I had tried to read many, many times, but it just found it so boring, those letters and everything in the beginning. I don't know, I just thought it was so boring. And so I finally was like, I'm gonna pick it up because I buddy read this with my mother. And I just didn't like it. It was so boring. I didn't care about anybody or anything going on. I just was like, get to the point. Yeah, just stop, please. Next, we're going with another popular one. We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. This again was another one that my ex had sent me because it's one of her favorite books. And I know a lot of people love, love, love Shirley Jackson. But the thing is, I was always told that she writes super spooky, scary, oh my god, suspenseful books. This, was, I was told, was super scary. It was not that. I feel like if I would have went in knowing absolutely nothing besides Shirley Jackson being, like, a great writer, I think I would have really, really enjoyed this. It was just that the hype got to me, for sure got to me. Because I was doing something spooky, scary, we are going on. I just kind of didn't care. Her writing was good. The story itself was... I don't know, I just don't think it was for me personally. I don't, I just didn't like it. I felt like there should have been more to it. At the end, I kind of like how they kind of became their own myth and legend. That was kind of interesting. But I feel like, because it's a very short book, I feel like you didn't get much from anything. I didn't get much from it personally, so. I feel like I'm like slowly declining and just being like, I didn't like it, I don't care. But um, the next book I'm going to talk about is... A Wild Sheep Taste by Hurricane Murakami. Kate, please don't hate me for putting this in here. This is not a terrible book. I did not hate it. I, I liked it. I was just disappointed because I really, 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 really wanted to read Murakami. I'm still going to pick up more books by him for dang sure because I'm super intrigued still. But I was just expecting something different. I was expecting a lot weirder shit to be going on, more fast-paced, just things happening. It was kind of just mundane. I didn't really care much about anybody or anything going on i thought it could have been weirder more could have been happening but i've heard a lot because kate's told me most of his books are kind of mundane and just about an old man in his house so i mean i usually i do enjoy those books i think i would have again liked this a lot more if i wouldn't have had him so hyped up as this like crazy weird shit so that's why i'm still gonna pick up way more books by him because um, I trust Kate and I genuinely feel like I will enjoy other stories and other things going on in the Mirakami world. So, my next book. Um, another one, a little controversial, but Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. <sighs> Honestly, I'm gonna try not to say too much about this so people don't fucking hate me if they see this. Basically, I'm gonna start this by saying I am not Chinese. I am not Asian, nor have I ever lived in Singapore, nor have I ever been filthy rich. So, like, I cannot speak to the validity of this book or anything or any representation in this book, but, oh, God, was this so annoying. I understand him trying to, like, portray an honest betrayal of these people who have lived a certain way in a certain place and have thought certain ways and shit, but, God damn, was this so offensive like, I don't know. I just feel like there was a lot of uncalled for statements and moments. Like, don't they go to, like, a dog fighting fucking thing at some point? I don't remember. There was just so many moments that deterred me from enjoying it. And they just made a lot of stupid remarks. Like, there was a lot of, like, 
homophobic things going on. And again, I understand growing up a certain way and living a certain way, people are going to think and feel and do things a certain way. But I don't know. I don't think that really made up for how much was in it and how little he did to kind of show that it, that's not proper or right or okay. I don't know. I was just very annoyed throughout the majority of this book. His writing was all right. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to finish this series. I, I don't even know if I want to watch the movie now. So, And my final book. Finally, we've gotten to it. This is another one that was like one of my lowest rated books. And that is Unburied Carol by Josh Mallerman. I just recently read this during the Cramazon. I talked about it in my vlog a little bit. I'm just going to give very um, quick thoughts on it. Basically, I thought this book was supposed to be about a woman who gets like physically buried alive. She is in a coffin under dirt and that's it. Now, I understand if you read the description on like Goodreads or other stuff, it doesn't really specify that. But like from like the reviews on the back and like what I heard other people saying, that is what I thought the story was going to be about. And it really just wasn't. I feel like it strayed a lot from the main point. It focused on all these other side characters and shit that I just did not care about. And it was a it's like old western setting and I don't like western so that kind of just made me not like it more. There were a few points and things that it talked about like a lot about guilt and past and things like that. And when you do focus on this woman and her like coma and death like shit that's going on, it is super super interesting and cool. But the rest of it just really fucking made me hate it. And even if I would have known that this was not exactly what I thought it was gonna be if I would have went into this a little more blind I still don't think I would have liked it based off of the fact that it was the setting those characters that I just didn't care about and the fact that when you did get something cool he just brushes over and goes to some other shit that I didn't care about um so really 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 disappointed with this and I had read Bird Box earlier this year and I thought that was gonna make it to this list because I gave it like a 2.5 maybe a 2 because there were I genuinely love that story it was super engaging but there were so many points in it that I kind of felt didn't really wasn't that convincing you know but honestly after reading this I literally kind of want to go back and bump that rating up because his writing was phenomenal that story was such a great story and this just was so muddled with so many other things that I don't think it focused on any of the important cool shit. So, all right, guys, that is all that I'm going to be talking about in this video for my worst, most disappointing, just stucky books that I read this year. Um, my next video will be my best books of the year. Then I'll do another, like, miscellaneous thing because I did read some really, really great books that I am super, super excited to talk about. So, um... Thank you for watching this. If you read any of these books, please tell me your thoughts. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, I'm sorry if I deterred you from reading any of these books. Some, you needed that deterring. Some of these books just kind of sucked. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.